Hello everyone and welcome to the All About Favor channel. This is the Walk in Favor Network. I am your host, Pastor KZ. All this week, y'all, since it is the month of October and we are recognizing breast cancer awareness, my attire would be shades of pink. So don't forget those of you who have not went and had your mammogram, go ahead and get that scheduled as soon as possible. Let's get into my thought for today. Surround yourself with positive people and with prayer warriors. You know what? Sometimes your circle is a significant, it shows what you need and what you don't need, your circle. If you don't have people in your circle who is positive, who are motivators, and most importantly, who are prayer warriors, you better reconsider your circle. I tell you one thing, there is nothing like being able to call someone in my prayer circle who's a warrior, who I know believe in the power of fasting and praying. I will say, sis, I need you to help pray me through this situation, or I need you to partner in prayer with me or come in agreement with this. Make sure you have some prayer warriors in your circle. I remember back in the day, the old school Pentecostal churches, old school church of God in Christ, they will call mother so-and-so and, -so and sister so-and-so and missionary so-and-so, and they will come to the house and them women will start putting up a prayer and they will tell you, now sis, what we gonna do is we gonna pray 12 o'clock every single day noon. We gonna come in agreement that God is gonna move on this situation. And you know what? Them women stayed at it and something broke loose and I don't know what happened but real soon they stood up on Sunday morning at testimony service and gave a praise report and a testimony and y'all when you got prayer warriors in your circle you can move mountains things that people say is impossible if you got the right praying people in your circle watch how god turns some situations around part of the reason some people are not getting turnarounds breakthroughs deliverance and healings is because of their circle you got to put people in your circle who know that they know who the Lord is and they know how to call him up and they got an intimate relationship with him. And not only that, they can help you by telling you, honey, he did it before he'll certainly do it again. I know what prayer can do. And you got to have some warriors in your circle. That's what I'm starting this week off with. Have some prayer warriors in your circle. Y'all, at the end of this video, comment, like, and share. And never, ever forget, prayer works. Prayer works. Now, it may not happen the way you think it should happen, but when God moves, it is for a reason. And sometimes he saves you from something down the road that you couldn't see. Sometimes you pray for something that ain't good for you. And sometimes God will give you some of those things you pray for just to show you this is what you ask for. But this is not what I had for you. Also, when you're praying, don't get discouraged if your prayers is not answered immediately. If you read through scripture, some of the prayers were answered immediately. And sometimes you had to wait a while for it. Don't get discouraged because sometimes the answer is not no. Sometimes the answer is hold on a little bit. I got to shake some things up, move some things around, move some people. There is a shift that's coming. And I am telling you, make sure you got some prayer warriors in your circle at the end of the video y'all please give me some comments today send me some emails let me know how your prayer circle works let me know give me some thumbs up if you got some prayer warriors in your circle your circle is very important you all be well, be blessed, and always walk in your healing. Even if you don't feel healed, you don't see the evidence via your medical reports or your diagnosis, you still got to trust God and believe he's going to do this thing. And if he don't do it, it's not because he can't. Stay focused, stay balanced, and always protect your peace. I will see you back tomorrow. Be blessed and be well.